Let us now understand rotation about the origin. Rotate the following figure 90 degrees and 180 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So we have a triangle here. Let me label this triangle as A, B and C. right? And we have to rotate this triangle counterclockwise about origin. And we will consider two types of rotation here. One is counterclockwise 90 degrees, the other one is counterclockwise 180 degrees. Now counterclockwise means that direction, right? So that is the direction in which we are going to consider the rotation. As you know, when we do 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation, what happens to x and y coordinates? They interchange, that's the first thing. So x and y coordinates interchange, that is the first thing. And the second thing is, which sign changes? The x sign changes. And x sign changes. So that is the change which is going to happen when we rotate an object about the origin counterclockwise. Right? So, let's write down the coordinates for ABC and see where should be the image or the new points of the coordinates after 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. So at present the location of ABC is is 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left means minus and 1, 2, 3 B is minus 1 1, 2, 3 and C is 1, 2 minus and 1 up. So let us interchange these, right? So let's interchange. So we'll interchange and make x reverse. That means whatever x value comes here will reverse that sign. So that is what we are supposed to do to get new coordinates, right? So the new coordinates will be, let's call that to be a dash. When you reverse 3 comes here and minus 4 goes there. And you need to reverse the sign for x, so it becomes minus 3. So that is the new coordinate for A. A dash is the image after 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. So let's figure out where A dash should be. Minus 3, minus 4. That means 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is the point for A dash for us, right? minus 3 minus 4. Let me write down A dash here. How about B dash? Well again interchange, right? So once you interchange x and y coordinates you get B dash which should be 3 and minus 1 and then you change the sign for x to so make it negative, right? So B dash will be at minus 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 3 minus and minus 1. So that is the location for B dash. The image of B after 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. Similarly, for C, we'll interchange the signs, interchange the position of X and Y. So we can write 1 and minus 2 and change the sign for X. So make it minus. So C is minus 1, minus 2. So minus 1, minus 2. So that is the point C dash for us. So once we join these points, we get position of the triangle after 90 degrees of counterclockwise rotation. Do you see that? That is how it is to be done. And now let us consider 180 degrees counterclockwise rotation about the origin. Now whenever you do 180 degrees whether it is counterclockwise or clockwise the result is same. The result is if the original points are x and y then just change their sign right. So we get minus x and minus y as the new points right. So we already know the points of a, b and c. What we'll do now here is we'll write the new points as a double dash the second rotation which we are doing is 180 degrees counterclockwise, right? So that will be, we'll write the same points and change their sign. So A is minus 4 and 3. It becomes plus 4 and minus 3. So just change the signs. 
So for B, it will be plus 1 and minus 3. And for C, the points will be, will change the sign, becomes 2 and plus 1 becomes minus 1. So these are the new signs for us. So A double dash is 4 minus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3. So that is our A double dash, right? B double dash, that means the image of our triangle after 180 degrees counterclockwise will be at 1 minus 3. 1, 1, 2, 3. That is B double dash. And C double dash will be 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1. So these are the new points for our triangle after 180 degrees rotation. Let's join them. So we get this triangle. Now you can check your results. How to check the results? Let me write C double dash here. To check the results, what you should do is, you can take your set square, right? And join the points C and C dash. You'll find that they go through the origin. Do you see that? So that means it is correct. Similarly, join B and B dash. It will also go through the origin. That is correct. How about A and A dash? They also go through the origin. So it is 180 degrees counterclockwise rotation. Even for clockwise rotation, you get the same result, right? It basically gets reflected on the origin. Do you see that? That is how we check. How to check 90 degrees rotation with a set square? You know, the two edges of the set square are at 90 degrees, right? So if I place my corner at the origin, since we are doing rotation about the origin, and if I want to check B, for example, so if I, do you see that B and B dash are along the edges of my 90 degree set square. Similarly, I can check point C. So if I put my corner at the origin, then C and C dash will align on the two sides of my set square. Same is the case with A, right? So you can always check your calculations, whether they're right or wrong, with the set square, do you see that? So if I place the corner of my set square at the origin, you can see that A, image of A is here, right? That is at 90 degrees and the rotation is counterclockwise. So that is how we can always check after drawing whether our results are right or wrong. Okay, now let's review. So for a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation, just swap X and Y and make X as negative, right? So X sign changes, that is what you do. For a 180 degrees counterclockwise, just change the signs for X and Y. Plot your points, connect them and get the result. That is how you do rotation about the origin for counterclockwise direction. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.